Hey, how's it going, uh, North Allegheny? So today, World Cultures classes, I'm gonna try and go over some things because once again, period three lost out on class. So the first thing I'm gonna do is flip over to um, just a couple images I threw on a PowerPoint um, just to be able to show them to you as I talk. So the first group that we talked about just to kind of invent culture, this is a World Cultures class, it's more contemporary, but it's really easy to see culture by looking at ancient um, or prehistoric civilizations seeing it emerge. So we looked at these people and said, okay, hey, we're, we've got this hand axe, we've got this tool, right? Uh, smooth, sharp on the bottom, chopping tool, what would life be like? And students generated a lot of different ideas for that and I noted a few down that came out of classes. So we had that groups would be small, they'd struggle to find food, the economy would be you hunt or you gather, those are your job options. Um, some thought that males might do more hunting and females could do more gathering, uh, and that was due to raising children. And a lot of people felt that we'd be near total equality. Now some groups have said, look, I think merit would have a lot to do with your, your value in society. That's very possible as well. Uh, there's a lot we don't know. And so those were just some basic findings uh, that I wanted to put in this video for you. So then what we went over today and started to look at was all of a sudden around 50,000 BC. So we've been doing this hunting and gathering thing for hundreds of thousands of years with a sharp rock. All of a sudden we see these new tools emerge. Uh, arrowheads, um, spears, we see the addle addle, which is pictured here, which is kind of a handle with a hook at the back that could propel a spear really quickly forward to bring down large game. Other tools that you're probably more familiar with, the bow and arrow emerge in this time, uh, the needle, uh, the fish hook is available as a tool. So we start to see all kinds of new tools emerging very suddenly, very close to 50,000 BC. Another thing we see is this, right, cave painting. Uh, all of a sudden people are taking time and creating art, creating concepts of, um, of ideas uh, that they wanna leave behind. Uh, for other people to send a message. And then lastly, we also see some burial. So we've got a female per, uh, individual here uh, buried with a tool, clothing, and there's even food in this burial site. So seeing this change, we wanna talk about what's going on. And so let's talk about this briefly. So if I go back to just a whiteboard here, um, we had a couple ideas come up in period three that I'd like to discuss. So one was, we're gonna see a lot more food, and because of that, we're gonna see a lot more people. And actually, this was a rule um, that was created in period three, was that more food would lead to increasing population. So as food goes up, population goes up, we see a direct relationship was the theory coming out of that class, and that's really interesting. Um, another one was that group size would increase. and that that might lead to needs uh, for change in social class or government. We also saw some discussion of the fact that jobs might change. Maybe not everyone can build all these tools now and so we might have people with more expertise in a singular area. Uh, obviously we see more development of scientific understanding uh, so we're definitely having more communication with one another uh, and, and more ideas emerging. Uh, and then another one was that we might see um, more importance for elders in specific fields or elders in hunting and, and tool making. So those were kind of the shifts. Now a lot of things probably stayed the same, right? And that's something we we're gonna get into tomorrow. They're probably still nomadic. You've gotta move around, so not everything changes. And the concept that I want us to understand with culture is something called continuity and change, that we have to balance out that some things will change and some things will stay the same in all cultures at all times. So this was the really basic idea. So we might have some changes in technology that could lead to changes in group size, in social class, in government. Uh, we definitely see some emergence of of the arts that might become something we should put up. Another theory was that power structures have changed in society. Certain groups or individuals are gonna become far more important than others. And then some people felt that the, um, the idea that we had a burial might indicate some religious changes that are taking place in the cultures of the time period. So I just wanted to share with you some of these basic fundamentals that emerged from your class. Uh, and tomorrow we'll try and clean a lot of this up in period three when we have everybody together in discussion. So hopefully this helps you. And then what I'll do is I'll get you a Google Doc with some of these ideas on it that'll be available for us tomorrow. 
uh, so that we're all just kind of in the same place. It'll be study guide-ish. There's not going to be a test on it, but, but to create a study guide so we have something moving forward. Thank you.